The Amateur National Motocross Championship at Loretta Lens is considered one of the most prestigious motocross races on earth. This season, we follow seven elite athletes across thousands of miles as they pursue a qualifying spot. Those who earn an invitation will do battle at this legendary site. As they know all too well, anything can happen on the road to Loretta's. Everybody who's done anything in Supercross, myself, Ricky Carmichael, Jerry McGrath, all these guys came up through Loretta's. It's the biggest, the best, most pristine amateur national in the world. If you want to get on the radar of amateur motocross, this is the place to be. This is the proving ground. Because if you win here, you beat everyone. And I think that's what makes this the crucible of amateur motocross. It does not get any more competitive than Loretta Lynn. Summertime, the dog days, the three months of a year made for relaxation, the times when flip-flops and lawn chairs prevail and where most childhood memories are made. But for some, it's not all barbecues and lemonade stands. Some kids dream of baseball fields, others of football fields. But amateur motocross dreams of this field, Loretta Lenz Field. For most of the year, it's just another scenic view on the ranch. Like a Revolutionary War battleground, only subtle hints to a careful observer pay tribute to the battles fought here in years past. And just like the 30 years before it, amateur motocross will once again do battle at Loretta Lenz. Heart. At the core of every racer is the innate need to win, to push, to challenge the breaking point of the human spirit. For those who understand, failure is not an option. I can't work any harder, it seems like. Sometimes I'm about to throw up and pass out because it's so hot here and I'm working outside and just sweating so bad and I want to be the best there is and I just want to be there every motor. I want to be known as that kid that works harder than anyone else in the game. Perseverance. While lap times are measured and finishes scored, the building blocks of champions are made out here. I think at Loretta's, it's going to be grueling. It's going to be hard, but it's really what I want to do. I want to go out there and show what I've got, give it everything. But on the road to Loretta's, sometimes the best lessons are learned through defeat. Last year, I thought last year was my year but it obviously wasn't. I knew I had the speed and I knew I was one of the top guys, but I didn't really ever feel that comfortable on the bike. And now, being on the KTM and working with all the guys, I'm starting to feel really comfortable, and I think this year is my year. Tenacity, it's the fuel that inspires champions to keep pushing. I think it means more just because all the fast riders are there, everybody's over there. Like if you say you want Loretta, it's something really important. So I just want to be one of those guys that can't say that. At the limits of the human body, athletes rely on the mind to continue them forward. Confidence is not a luxury, it's a necessity. I mean, I just, I just want to win. Like, there's nothing better in the world. Like, when you know you worked hard and you got the number one play and it's, it's yours, it's in your hands and you deserved it because you worked hard and that's why I want to win Loretta's. Dedication, the driving force of the insatiable need to win and achieve. If I don't make to Loretta's or do very well at Loretta's, that's really going to hinder my ability to, to continue racing because if I'm, if I'm not improving as much as I want to and not you know, making it to these big races, that might uh, you know, draw, draw an end to me. And sacrifice, the immeasurable trait whose value is priceless on race day. It gets hard sometimes, but I feel like if I go through that pain and that struggle, it'll end up paying off of the end, and uh, when it does pay off, that's the greatest feeling ever. Not to, don't you give up on me! Come on! Earning the privilege to pass through these gates requires strength, dedication, sacrifice. To qualify, riders must first earn their invitation through two preliminary rounds. All racers are welcome to enter the area qualifiers held at local tracks throughout the country. Qualifying into the regionals means more competition, harder tracks, and more travel. After regional qualifiers, only the best riders remain, and of those, one in each class will be named champion.
30 years ago on this same plot of land in Hurricane Mills, Tennessee, the original Loretta Lynn's Amateur National Championship was born. With modest roots, it would be hard to predict that the event would transform into the greatest amateur motocross event on earth. But Dave Coombs Sr. and co-founder Paul Slagle had a vision of a true amateur national, which soon became Loretta Lens. Some of the other events, I think, were, were more regional in scope. With Loretta Lens, it was like the Little League World Series. I mean, it was like this sacred playing ground that no one could get on. The only way you could be there is to earn it. And I think that that really built a sense of fair play. It built a sense of a, an even playing field. And so it started, the golden era of motocross. Throughout the event's rich 30-year history, championships have been awarded to the heroes of the sport. For those in search of stardom, the quest often starts with a Loretta Lens championship. That was before the internet, before Facebook, and, and uh, you only heard about the West Coast Rider or the, the East Coast Rider. So it was in a day that was a lot different. While amateur motocross has grown significantly throughout the decades, riders still strive all year to make it to the starting gates on Loretta's Ranch. It's the one race that has the potential to not only set a milestone in a racer's career, but one that can also change their lives forever. But I like to remind people that the essence of Loretta Lens has not changed. It's still an even playing field. It's still three motos. It's still an opportunity to compete all week long when you get there. And when you show up, it's the most important race you've ever been in because it's the one that everyone's watching. In Houston, Texas, those podium speeches help keep the dream alive. For 18-year-old Van Martin, most mornings are spent here on the bike. With one Loretta Lens title under his belt, and the clock winding down on his amateur career, Van looks to do it again in 2012. It's definitely nuts just when you're out there in the gym and doing those gnarly reps and just pushing on the bike as hard as you can, about to pass out and throw up, but it's something that you do if you want to be on top and if you want to be like the best there is, that's, that's how you got to work and that's how you got to push. In order to win again, preparation, skill, and luck need to be in the perfect balance. Uh, winning Loretta's, you know, uh, we went in there with high hopes. Did we think we were going to win? I mean, yeah, we thought we were going to win, but in reality, winning Loretta's is probably, uh, I, I would rank it up there with being one of the biggest accomplishments you can get. With a target on his back, Van needs to prove himself, this time in the A-Class. With Van, I really never expected him to be as good as he is. You know, he had, was a great rider when he was little, but he never was a fast rider. Uh, he never took it seriously. But with more experience comes an easier qualifying process. With Van's confidence on high, getting through the area level qualifying is just another part of the process. I believe in myself and I know I could run up there and I know I'm pushing as hard as I can in everything I do whenever I'm training on and off the bike. So it's just, you got to be where you want to be and that's up front. Training for the Tennessee heat requires months of preparation to be in peak physical condition. Before the first nationals I'm just preparing doing a lot of sprints and getting my training back to where I was at Loretta's after taking a little bit of time off and I'm just feeling really confident you know just training as hard as I can pushing as hard as I can and riding as much as I can and just doing everything I have to do to be on top and hopefully that's where I'll end up being. If Van decides to push forward with his plans to turn pro this year, he needs to prove his ability to potential employers quickly. I think he's still underrated. I think he's still, you know, still some people don't believe in him the way that he believes in him. Training through the winter months, Van arrived at Freestone Raceway in Wortham, Texas to prove himself at the Spring Championship, the first national race of the year. Texas Nationals are really big to me. I feel like it's the first national and you really need to open your, open up everyone's eyes to who you are and set yourself up as a big name and everyone needs to realize who you are. Throughout the week, Van struggled to find his rhythm and found himself outpaced by his competitors. Unfazed, he learns from his mistakes and presses on. He's just extremely driven right now. He's, uh, he's putting everything he's got into uh, his career. He, did, he basically did the same thing with school. He, when he went to school, it was something that uh, 
it, it was a job that he got done, you know. He went to public school and, and knocked it out, man. You know, got great grades and he's doing the same thing with his career right now. He's, he's uh, putting in the work and making sure that he's uh, getting the results that he really wants. Down but not out, Van heads back to Houston to refocus, regroup, and push on. As the road to Loretta's marches forward, he will soon find out if he has what it takes to make the cut. Next week on Road to Loretta's, we follow intermediate racer Brian Burns as he gets his first taste of national competition this year. Meanwhile, Dakota Alex attempts to cash in on more championships at the Spring Nationals to position himself as the man to beat. Racers throughout the country are learning that at this level, hard work and sacrifice are just the beginning as they start their journey down the road to Loretta's. I mean, Loretta's is that important where you would have to, you have to do whatever it takes to win.